Come in. Come in. <laughs> oh, hasn't changed much. Rome has shown you where all, <laughs> where, all the, where all the shoes go. Right, close these up. Not much to see in the main entrance. It's quite a small space, so we just use it for shoe storage. We moved here nearly three years ago. This video is to highlight the pros and the cons of purchasing a new build. We recently turned our two bed into a three bed, but more on that later. So we decorated this, how long ago? Probably, I think I was pregnant with Roman. No. Yeah, I was pregnant with Roman. Really? Okay, so long time ago, it was just like a standard white walled downstairs bathroom, wasn't it? Yeah. We were gonna make this a proper bougie bog and do like blacks and golds. And then we found out we were pregnant with Roman, so we just kept it subtle and we went with like a taupe color and some woods and some foliage. And kitchen with new builds. So we moved in April 2021. It's a country side properties, two bed house in Essex. So this is the, the standard spec for, is it the, I think the two and the three bed house. If you get a four or a five bed house, it's like next spec up. You get um, integrated cooker, you get a different worktop, bigger fridge, freezer. We've got friends on the estate that have, that have got a bigger house. But it's nice, you know, um, it's, it does the job. Um, the quality's been quite good. We haven't had any issues really um, in the three years that we've been here. Um, we have decorated a, li a little bit. We'll link the video to our, our kitchen makeover. All the, um, all the white goods are made by Zanussi um, and you get like a two year warranty with them and, and boiler protection. We haven't had any issues really, but to be honest, um, you wouldn't expect to after two and a half years, three years. Sienna, you can show me your play area. Yeah. So what's changed since we moved in here, we used to have our dining room um, table and breakfast bar with some stalls, but <laughs> every time we do a house call tour, we've got a new baby. <laughs> table and bar stalls used to live here but since we've had a second baby we've had to make room for the kids play area we have a gate out to the kitchen um, it's more a place for the toys to live because if you're a parent you do know <laughs> they won't just stay in one place the toys will spread across the entire living room we thought it'd be fun to add some soft play in here um, but instead of using the soft play just uses it to climb <laughs> up onto the units after splitting the living room into two sections, it really makes it feel like there's a kid-friendly zone, but then also a adult zone we can retire to in the evenings. You okay? Um, the living room has changed quite a lot lately. So <laughs> we've had like three new sofas. I think we've had like five new sofas since me and Liz have been together. Um, the last house tour we had, we just had two sections. For Christmas, we added an extra section because we was going to be having quite a lot of people over. And we've also got a rug now as well because with this little munchkin head, it's nice for you to lay down, isn't it? And you can play. Hello. <laughs> so with changing the um, living room round, having a dedicated like play area, the table and chairs have had to move to here. If we're honest, we prefer them over where they were before, but this is don't it does the job. Um, we'd rather them have we'd rather them have like a big toy area rather than us having the table where we want it to be. You know, it's coming into the summer, the light will be good, so um, that should be fine. The garden hasn't changed much. We moved in April 2021. If we show you some pictures of what the garden was like when you move into a new build, it's terrible. Barely any patio, grass is not very good. So we added the um, decking at the back and we built a shed. Um, down there we put like a fridge, freezer and a tumble dryer just because the fridge and freezer are not that big in a new build. Um, so with two kids, you definitely need to have um, like a big American style fridge, freezer down there. After we put the decking down, we extended the patio. Um, so we haven't actually done much out there. That seems to do the job. We did, however, build a TV wall. One thing I would say is, if you are gonna build a TV wall, make sure you either get 
a space for a sound bar, or you get the gap around the edges a bit bigger. So our builder, who's a friend of mine, and he's done an amazing job, said, do you want it to be like millimeters? Do you want like a millimeter of space around the outside? I said, yeah, that'll look really good, look part of the wall. All the speakers are at the back, so you can't really hear it, all the sounds out that way. So um, that's one thing to think of. I just wanted to take a sec to give special thanks to Baby Elegance for sending us this mash high chair. We did have the bog standard IKEA one, but this one just fits our interior vibe a lot better with its beech wood legs. It has a bucket seat for ultimate comfort and the seat cushion is wiped clean. I've left the link in the description below if you'd like to find out more. Then um, this area is just like storage. Um, one of the things we loved about having a new build is that it's fresh white walls all throughout the house, so putting shelves up is quite easy. <laughs> Downstairs cupboard, just bins and storage again. So we'll head upstairs and we'll show you where we've turned it from a two bed into a three bed. Let's talk you through the work we've had done here. So we bought this house as a two bed because at the time it was just the two of us. Two weeks before picking up the keys, we found out we were pregnant. We've just one baby, a two bed house worked perfectly and then bam, baby number two was on the way. Originally, we thought the baby sharing would be super cute. Then we realised in reality, they're just gonna wake each other up all night. This is originally how the hallway looked. We had a very small landing but the builders knocked down part of this wall to extend the landing and as you can see the airing cupboard which was once in our bedroom is now part of the hallway so we have technically given up a bit of bedroom space um, and gained a bit of hallway but it's the only way that we could do it the build was actually a lot more straightforward than we thought it was going to be the builder said it could take up to two weeks but they got it done in seven days so here's the finished product we built a wall through the middle of the room and managed to lay the same carpet back down. Here's what the room originally looked like. It was quite a big room, so splitting it in half worked out really well. Where you're looking now is now where the new box room is. That's Sienna's room. And here is where the bigger room is, and this one's Roman's. So I'll start with our room. This hasn't been altered build-wise, but we have moved room. So we was over there, we're now over here. So this used to be, there's a cat. <laughs> um, this used to be Roman's bedroom. Um, when we only had one baby, it was easy. But now we've got two. That's why we split the room. So we are now in here because this was the smaller out of the two rooms. Um, we had to get a new bed, and this is a TV bed, because we have all our fitted wardrobes in here. Um, and so because of that, we couldn't put a TV on the wall like we had in our old bedroom. So now this goes up and down, up and down. You're very curious, Nina. So yeah, that's what we've done in here. We've kept it, kept it quite subtle and just chill because after a full day of parenting two under two i just need some peace in my legs after the building work took place over in the other room and um, we then got a painter decorator in um, and we painted just the one back wall and we've gone for a beige it's the valspar um paint from b and q i believe um, so yeah, that's probably the only difference in here, but come on over to here. So bathroom hasn't changed much, but if you haven't seen our previous videos, you wouldn't know what it looked like before. Not much has changed in here. Um, a lot more children's toys in here. They do come with quite a high spec. Um, I think all we did in here, we had to add that mirror in. We had a guy come in when we first moved. He measured up and just came and fit it. It was really quite simple. One thing I would mention about new build bathrooms is the mastic. We had quite a few issues with the mastic um, and they've had to come and redo it quite a few times. And when I say quite a few times, probably four times. So yeah, it comes apart and then obviously if you get water leakage in there, there can be mold underneath, which we did actually um, 
have to deal with. So yeah, that's been redone a few times. It's probably not every new build, but we experienced it quite a few times and so did our neighbours. Um, but yeah, that's the bathroom. Moving on to King Roman's room. As you can see, the baby gate is still firmly attached. This is still a little terror. So, come in. You'll be able to see in here the, where our bed used to be, from the plush carpet to the worn-in carpet. Um, but yeah, this is a stud wall that the builders put in. Um, they've knocked back so... If you can imagine, the wall was here before. So this, um, this cupboard was in our bedroom. So we've lost a bit of this and gained a bit more hallway and then had this wall built here. Luckily, we had two windows in this room anyway. And we had to move the radiator over here. We haven't put a radiator in that room because new build bedrooms, or new build houses are so warm. Um, so yeah, we had to move the loft hatch because it was bang in the middle of where we've added our stud wall. So yeah, decorating wise in here, we painted this. This is another Val Spa color from B&Q. Um, we just wanted to do the one wall so we could put some bits up. Um, we had the windowsills repainted, all the skirtings redone. This is still the same cot Roman's been in since he was five months old. We've just taken off the side. Um, so yeah, considering this used to be our bedroom and we literally just had a bed and a dressing table in here, really happy with the size of this room, how it's turned out. It's a good size for a two year old. Um, so yeah, let's, I'll show you Sienna's room now. It's not as big, but it's bigger than we were ever expecting it to be. So we had our builders add the panel in. We were thinking it was gonna be really tricky. We were gonna to have to get our painter decorated to do it. They were just like, no, no, it's a couple of bits of MGF. So they did that for us and we we're really happy with it. We only did the one wall. Um, and then we've added wallpaper to the one wall above the panel in. And then as well, we actually managed to get the same curtains in all three rooms. So they're done elm, they're blackout, I think they're the lunar range. They're just the three different colors that they like fit perfectly in all the rooms. Um, I love these sparkly stars. This was bought for Roman when he was first born from my friend's mum, but it just fit better in here. This was also Roman's as well. She's got pounds. It's just super cute and super girly in here. And this cot will turn into a cot bed when she needs it to be. So here in this room used to be, like across this wall here was, we had the dressing table that was made out of the worktop. Um, and then we had our TV, this wall, and we had the mirrors either side that I hated. So I'm glad they're gone. Oh. <laughs> Love. That's it, so we've done quite a lot. And I'll say overall, new builds, I mean, we love it because it's been zero building work yeah. or like we haven't had to paint every we haven't had to paint every room in the house yeah and the one thing i hate about older houses i actually really like older houses one thing i don't like is the years upon years upon years of paint on certain walls <laughs> <It's just laughs> one thing that jars me so much yeah but yeah love the new build if you've got any questions about countryside new builds comment below we're happy to answer any questions and if you want any more information about how we turn this from a two bed to a three bed chuck that in the comments as well we're happy to get back to anyone yeah. peace out